Do you want to find out how to make money playing games for free? Keep an eye on this video because we are about to show you 10 free NFT games to check out. Hello there, this is Smart Money Plus, where we teach you how to earn online income the intelligent and easy way. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to be updated whenever I upload new videos. Also comment down below if you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions. Now let me show you the smart way to make money. We've got Splinterlands at number 10 on our list. The most popular blockchain trading card game is Splinterlands, with thousands of players around the world collecting cards and trading them regularly. Splinterlands began as a team monster named after the blockchain on which it was first established in mid-2018. Since then, both the number of players actively participating in the market and the value of the prizes awarded to them have grown steadily. The Hive blockchain is now being used to run the game. With each release, Splinterlands continues to lead the pack in non-fungible tokens, blockchain gaming, and redefining what it means to be a collectible. No one, even the game's creators, can take a card away from any player, and anyone can trade, buy, or sell cards much like real trading cards. Voxies make up the ninth position on our list. In the virtual world of the Ethereum blockchain, there are 3D voxel buddies known as Voxies. They are adorable, affectionate, and a treasure. Only 10,000 Voxies exist in the world and each one is unique. A variety of random characteristics and amusing traits contribute to the charm and uniqueness of each Voxy. You can engage in turn-based tactical combat with your Voxies, explore the 3D voxel world, interact with NPCs, and more. The upcoming blockchain-powered RPG, like Final Fantasy Tactics, will operate in a similar manner. As NFT players will be able to control numerous characters, depending on the game, the goal will change. Voxel tokens are central to this initiative. It will be possible to earn tokens by participating in battles and other tasks, and they can be sold for profit outside of the game or used in-game for a variety of purposes. Number 8. Coin Hunt World Coin Hunt World is a geolocation game in which you must search for hidden coins. It does not matter whether you do it by yourself or with a group. Created by the same developers as Bitterex, Coin Hunt Worlds is a free-to-play game. Similar to Pokemon Go in concept, but much more enjoyable, this game is a lot more fun. Much more can be done, and it is centered around the community. You must gather different colored keys across the city to open vaults that reward you with Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and uncommon NFTs with more cryptos to come once the game exits beta at the end of May. Cropbyte comes in at number 7. Cropbyte quickly rose to prominence following its debut in early 2018. Having gone through a full market cycle, the game's economics and gameplay experience have been refined ever since. This exposure gave it an edge over the competition as players could continue to build their crypto holdings in spite of market volatility. It is the goal of CropBytes to create a virtual world where everyone can trade and own assets. All of their efforts are focused on developing games that are based on farming, business, and strategy in a crypto-based environment. Meanwhile, users have devised advanced techniques and are planning to maximize their return on their investments. Many crypto games are now competing with traditional titles on mobile and console platforms. The Unity engine was used to create crop bytes on the other hand. The latter is a popular platform for making games that can be played on iOS, Android, and the web. Sixth on the list is Project Seed. In order to end the worldwide age of playing to win MMORPGs, Project Seed was created. Using NFT technology, Project Seed aims to ensure that the games are completely fair and transparent. NFT will encrypt all in-game items, including weapons, armor, and abilities. In other words, it is impossible for anyone to get a leg up on anyone, not even the publisher. In Project Seed RPG, Players receive shill tokens, 
seeds native tokens as a tokenized form of experience for completing missions, slaying monsters, or leveling up. All items in the game are minted as NFTs to prevent cheating. The Project Seed NFT Marketplace is open to any player who has a large number of these NFTs for selling or renting. Users can invest their shell coins in the long term or sell them for USDT once they have accumulated a significant amount of experience or shells. If you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. This helps me create new videos for you guys. Now, let us get back to the video. Halfway on the list is Crypto Fights. It is a turn-based fighting game in which players can select, create, and use a wide range of abilities to harm their opponents. All of your abilities, from how well you can use powerful weapons to how well you can conceal yourself, evade attacks, and cast spells are important. The value of a winning character rises over time as bets placed by players and spectators alike on the outcomes of fights. The Chromeverse Marketplace is a place where gamers can trade game items registered on the Bitcoin blockchain. Furthermore, all previous fight movements and outcomes are recorded on the blockchain, allowing for increased transparency, replays, and analysis of previous battles. Number 4. Grasshopper Farm Grasshopper Farm is a text-based telegram game inspired by the engine community is one such effort. The game is played through the messaging app of your choice. Yes, you heard exactly right. A telegram bot can be used to acquire grasshoppers, send them on missions, and engage in combat with your opponents. The Hoppers universe shows that you do not need AAA visuals or an epic storyline to have a loyal following. A visual flair is not a priority in this game, as only grasshopper pictures with accessories that match their roles are used. It is all about having fun, and there is plenty of that to go around on the farm. To grow your farm, you'll need to hire more hoppers, build and improve your structures, and take on other players. Hoppers can be sent out on missions to win prizes and advance your farm faster. Or you can form swarms with other farmers to perform collective tasks. Ethermon is number 3. In the Ethermon platform, Ethermon hunters can capture the monster and their owners can raise them and control them. In the process of evolving, changing, reproducing, and gaining experience, Ethermons can develop into stronger Ethernets. Add to your collection of Ethermons, take them on adventures, engage in battles with them, or trade with them. Ethermon is based on the Ethereum network and includes smart contract functionality, which allows for direct and decentralized transactions. It's only a matter of time before a whole generation of Ethermon is no longer catchable because of a limited supply. If you are one of the few, you will get to see them all. Second on the list is the Medieval City. It is currently in development as a mobile, tablet, smartphone, and desktop computer-based MMO called Medieval City State. On the surface, CSM looks like a lot of other games, but it is actually quite unique. For the visuals, it uses a low-poly approach to give a full 3D experience. Every single structure and icon has been meticulously painted by hand. On the Stellar Network, game resources are also provided as real-world assets. As an alternative to using the engine or creating pricing, players trade resources on a global exchange. The most intriguing aspect of their game designs is the potential for players to earn money while they play. Selling wisely or changing your city-state's production to match market demand could result in a profit on the market. Last but not least, we have My Crypto Heroes at the top of our list. My Crypto Heroes is an Ethereum blockchain-based real-time strategy war game. Take on the role of historical figures, go on adventures in search of rare items, and compete with other players for rewards and renown to other people. Send your heroes into dungeons to gain experience points and acquire rare artifacts. Known as Original Extensions or ERC721 tokens, competitions tailored to different player strengths are available. 
the best players are rewarded with original extensions or ERC721 and perpetual renown. My Crypto Heroes hosts a sale auction where players can purchase new heroes. The starting price for each hero auction is half of the previous auction's closing price for the same rarity hero that was sold. And that's it! You can now start earning money intelligently! I hope you learned a lot from this video! And if you did, do not forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave a like on this video! And I will see you next time!